to our case Sunday. Today I just saw a video of my family YouTubers. He was actually just going to check out his channel and he was playing the Sydney Connection. Sydney Connection is a game I play at home, not everyone else out there. So I thought I'd just give it a go tonight and see how I do. So just a quick walk around the arcade and uh, see what it's going to be like tonight. Thank you. It's Arcade Sunday. So just before the scheduled video, uh, this is a game called Rock and Rope, aka Rope Man, and it was in fact the, the game board that came with this particular cabinet. Uh, when I purchased it, um, it had a marquee of Rope Man, and it had this board inside. I'm presuming that this is the uh, Rope Man board, or bootleg version, uh, but certainly this is the board that came with this cabinet when I purchased it originally. Just an interesting piece of information, or not. As a matter of interest, I have uh, tried to play uh, Rock and Rope, um, and being a Konami game, um, it does play very well. It is, uh, however, very, very difficult. It actually reminds me a lot of Ice Climber by Nintendo uh, of a similar era. I actually wouldn't be surprised if, uh, if some gameplay elements weren't sort of borrowed from that game. In fact, even the, the walk sound sounds very Nintendo. Uh, nonetheless, um, it's an okay game. Um, very difficult. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to try it a bit more. Seeing my cabinets came with the original board. So my son is busy uh, playing some City Connection. He's actually not too bad at the game. Um, so as soon as he's finished, I shall begin my, hopefully, reign of terror in City Connection. In the meantime, I'm going to just have a good game of Arkanoid and uh, possibly some Dudon Apache while I wait. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, coming up soon. Alright, so with all the noise of the arcade in the background, some dude on Pachi, uh, Bomb Jack, pinball action in the background, uh, we're gonna have a one coin game of uh, City Connection and uh, just see how we do. Okay, so I'm just gonna play a, kind of a straightforward game without too much point pressing, uh, literally just try to uh, collect um, the warp balloons, uh, I like to play that method, as I say I'm not really going for a high score here, it's more of a, uh, oh cat, it's more of a demonstration of the game and uh, how to play, obviously there's a Pretty straightforward. There's a balloon up right at the top of the screen. You'll see the first balloon. Sort of make your way up to the top. You want to hold down uh, the up on the control and press jump to do those hard jumps or jump between uh, these levels. Yeah, it's a good trick right there. Uh, you can get to the end of the road and not fall off. You can actually. Oh, I was too scared to do it with a cat there. Okay, you can actually do that without falling off. And here I fall off. I'll try it again over here. Time it right. I'm not timing it right, obviously. I'll try again later. Okay, for now, I'm just gonna look for that uh, next balloon. There's it down the bottom there. Sometimes it can be a bit tricky to get to them, like this one now being at the bottom is, uh, is a bit tricky because. Falling down and anyway, okay, so I've got it, perfect. And I'm just gonna one, two, three, get rid of those, and then maybe one, two, three again, and then I'm gonna get out of there because they're gonna start to make it difficult for you. If you spend too much time at the bottom there or too much time point pressing, they actually do start sending cars going the wrong way, and this cat's like suddenly appear out of nowhere, and there's like spikes that appear in the floor, and all kinds of methods to make you, uh, you know, stop pushing for points, which is actually pretty clever for a game of this era. I guess they thought that uh, 
people could just play indefinitely and then I was the balloon oh, there was there. People could probably just sit and play this indefinitely if you could just endlessly drive along the bottom of the screen and and point press. Uh, I guess that was the thinking behind that, which is probably quite a good idea from the manufacturer's point of view. Okay, so there's two ways you can end the stage now, is I can just drive the, the rest of the highway, that green road that I've missed, like that little part there. I can just finish that off and it'll be the end of the stage, or I can get my third balloon and warp a couple of stages. I'm going to try and do the balloon warp method, there's the balloon at the bottom there, or a balloon, the third one and the one that I request. And I'm going to get 20 seven times a bonus so it's actually quite a uh, good bonus points thousand so it's a thousand so that's you know quite a good set of points there so now as you'll see i'm not on stage two saint kansas anymore this is now um looks like the tower of london uh, or some very british related themed background, they do this all the stages, they've all got kind of different themes, it's actually, I don't know, I, I think they've done this game very well uh, with relatively you know, limited resources, you know, they've got some real beautiful animation on the, on your main character, I think that really stands out, and then the, the character animations for the enemies aren't really bad either really, um, but it's all about the theme uh, it makes the game and the, the layout of these sort of mazed levels that makes the game interesting and challenging and uh, there's another balloon and I could go for that. Uh, again it starts to get a bit tricky here in the stages where those cars often start driving the wrong way and then you run the risk of, sort of going into them without even knowing that they're coming. Oh wow I missed it completely. Okay so I'm gonna try and Ooh, like that, he disappeared out of nowhere. And I should have been watching more ahead. I think that's a trick you need to take away from this video if you want to get better at the game. Try and look ahead to the way you are driving just to make sure you don't get some vehicle traveling the wrong way. This happens very often, unfortunately. So I'll fall back here. It's probably not going to be there anymore. No. It's a depiction of Big Ben, I presume. Very interesting. Um, I often found that uh, a lot of the, these Japanese or games produced in Japan, anyway, uh, often had um, themes from other countries. You know, like it's just um, to show off uh, their knowledge of the world, or I don't know what for what reason, uh, but uh, maybe to entice uh, foreign players to play the games. I think it's more about that. Honestly, um, very interesting concept, and it is getting too far now. It's gonna be very hard to jump up there. Uh, okay, I must watch ahead of me to the left too. I don't want to get killed uh, from a uh, car going the wrong way. Really bad to get out of here now. Okay, so I think I've missed that balloon. Now it's just no, oh, that was stupid. There's just no way to come back out of that. Okay, so me maybe just. Uh, to the drive all the highway method, yeah. Unless I see another balloon, then I'll go for it. Uh, but I don't think it's easy to get on the stage. So you kind of, yeah, I heard a double jump over there. Might work. See, that was pretty lucky. I wasn't killed there. Right, yeah, and I think that little bit of road at the bottom is the last part of it. Yeah. Okay, so now you have driven all the highway. So now you only get uh, 100 points per oil can, as opposed to when you have your uh, three balloon warp, you, it's times a thousand. So that's a, by itself quite a, a good reason to try uh, the warp balloon method. It's obviously much more difficult to get a lot of points that way. Uh, you'll see now the French theme. Okay, that was 100,000 points. That's a free life, so that's pretty cool. But I must be very, very careful at the bottom here because of that. 
Sure, that's awfully close. Okay, there's a balloon there. I think I'm gonna go for that. And then just try and get out of here with the walk bonus. Oh no, I let it go too far under the screen. Darn it. So you kind of got to hang around quite a while and hope that uh, something's going to appear. Yeah, there's no particular rhyme or reason as to when those balloons appear as far as I can... Oh man, I jumped straight into that cat. Darn it. As far as I can understand, so yeah, I'm gonna uh, at least wait for one more. There should be one more coming in. We can maybe get some good bonus points, as they say, in another game from early 80s. Just be careful now. Everyone's on the warpath. Unfortunately, uh, it would have been quite impressive, honestly. Uh, nevertheless, uh, that's a silly connection. Again, try this game if you, if you haven't before. Real cool game. Uh, Jellico had some uh, very interesting games back in the day. And just like that, Arcade Sunday out. See you next time. Anyway, cheers for now.